which the ones that you put on your head. Which ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, the, those Arab like, ones. Check. Yes. yes. <laughs> those Arab stuff. I had like. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I can't deal with us. Anyway, hi guys, Electro I have a with me. It's me, Shelly. Hey. Yay. Guys, so we are not abducted. We are not lost. We are yeah. actually in a hotel. Somewhere in Sansom. So every like I feel like everybody's done or everybody's getting ready to like leave Joburg now. It's just yeah. a few more weeks and everybody is going to be gone. It big days is your figure. Mm -hmm. So we Follow are, exactly, we are talking about traveling and the stuff that you need to have. And basically, Michaela is going to be taking us through her fashion uh, when she's traveling. Ne? So we are in a hotel. We thought just for ambiance, let us get ourselves into a hotel and do the damn thing. Ne? Travel life. Exactly. Style. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So I don't know if any of you guys don't know Michali, I don't know about Umbani. But just in case there's some <laughs> random anomaly out there that doesn't know you, please introduce yourself. Okay, hey guys, my name is Michali, also known as Michali N. Yes. I am a beauty blogger, content creator, full time student, extraordinaire. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, all, all around beautiful Thank you. person. Thank you. Yes. So yeah, I'm also on YouTube. Yes. That's Basically. how I found her. Yeah. On the internet. <laughs> okay. Babies. Internet babies, guys. Okay, so the first question, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Michelle. Wow. Okay. We're gonna jump right into it. So mm -hmm. the first question is, what does fashion mean to you? I think fashion is about your personal style. For me, mm -hmm. I wear what I feel comfortable in, what works for my body type, mm -hmm. and I think it's also about. Um, expressing yourself yeah so everyone's style like personally let me speak about myself my yeah. style changes from day to day depending on my mood if I'm having a very lazy day then, then I'm most likely dress. be super casual yeah. dressed down and then if I'm having a uh, where I'm feeling like feisty yes. I'll wear like a cute tight outfit so I think it's just about your personal style that's I feel like also like so many people have that same um, answer because yeah. it just boils down to what you feel like yeah. and the type of stuff that you like it doesn't have to be defined by someone else and then you conform mm, to that exactly whatever is natural and feels comfortable to you should be because if you're conforming then you'll be changing your wardrobe yeah every, every single season. yeah which is ridiculous things are there are people who actually stuff. do that oh girl child that the money the money yeah, and the no, time no. imagine <laughs> yes. okay. how would you define your style so like if you were ha if you had to define it in like a sentence, what would you say your style is? Ooh, that's that's a tough one. Yeah. I'd say elegant, uh -huh. sexy and assertive. Yes. I, I I agree with sexy and elegant. Thank you. I really agree because I'll be checking you out on the gram and I can see like you, you put a lot of effort into your outfits with mm -hmm. and they look so seamless also and they're like effortless and just you know, not to visit what oh just this and that. But you can see that there was a thought process behind it, Thank which you. is really, really cool. Can Who is your style icon and why? And they have to be South African. <laughs> I just got thrown in the deep end. I knew what I was going to say. And I think this is like every girl style icon, Rihanna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, all, okay. we, love, we, we love Rihanna. I'd say my style of icon in SA is definitely Bonang. I yes. love the way she dresses. I love how she can go from completely dressed up yeah. to a being casual cool, girl. Being a scripture. Yeah. Even being though she doesn't do casual very often, yeah. I do like casual from Monday to Friday. I think she does casual, but like it's casual, casual glam. glam. Yeah. yeah, casual glam. I'm a huge sneaker girl, yeah. so I'd switch out some of her looks and put on sneakers, but she's definitely my style icon. I love the way she dresses. Yeah. And it's so it like it's really really nice, Sham. Mm. And I feel like if I were to invade you would go on guys like wow my dreams would be made with like ninety percent of her clothes. Yeah. yeah, because it's just so perfect, especially her ball gowns when she goes mm. to events. Oh <gasps> she pulls off she's my like the God. queen of red carpet and yeah, everything. She does it, she never gets it wrong. Well, she not never, but like she gets it right most of the time. Yeah. And her glam squad is on point. We have to give them a From shot. her hair because her, her hair makeup is always on fleek, it's yeah. always proper. You'll never catch her sleeping, Sham. Mm. Sham! Okay, anyway, so this last question from the segment is your biggest misconception mm. you've had about fashion growing up. I don't know. 
what what did you think like because i i'll tell you now for me i thought that for you to look nice you had to buy expensive stuff that that yes. was my premise like the whole time i was like okay actually yes yeah my aunt is shout out to my aunt love her to bits but <laughs> she's very much of the type of person where she likes expensive things yeah, yeah. and i mean obviously she can afford it yeah so growing up i wanted to shop at mr price so bad because mr price was like the, the thing. bomb and she'd always be like to me you're not gonna walk into mr price as long as you me like we're not buying from mr price she was no. always like you shopping from woods yeah and like, also like the, the quality places yeah the quality so, i think you can definitely get good quality affordable fashion which for example for me is zara i'm a huge zara girl yeah. i love zara so that was definitely a misconception growing up yeah. and i think we all grew up with that and especially like watching other people grow up mm. like about dollar you'd always think like oh my god you need to have like millions and millions yeah. of dollars yeah. well, or brands rather for you to be able to look yeah. nice which and is I not think necessarily also true that thing of sorry to cut you off that whole thing of you, it's either you have one type of style so it's yeah. either you're a super dolled up person and yeah. you look all the time whereas now people are more comfortable people can go from being a screw screw to, to being an elegant a boardroom lady yeah. to a boardroom lady to being you know yeah. you can literally wear anything you can be versatile yeah when it comes to your style alright okay so I think we're done with that the intersection so what we're going to do now is we're going to check out Michelle's outfits it's like that I'm saying red bottoms and shit. <laughs> so yes, she's gonna show us her outfits that she would pack in her travel bag when she's traveling. Which oh, they look really, really nice, guys. So let's go and see what's she popping. Hi, me Oh, you're back. I feel like I'm on the spot. Yes, because uh, you're literally just standing there by yes, yourself. Please. Yeah. Okay. So she's gonna take us through the first outfit is airport wear right yes, this is airport wear this okay. is when you're going on your trip okay so i'm wearing like a tracksuit that has a crop hoodie which i really do love i feel like yeah. they're so cute and it's a velvet tracksuit this is navy i'm wearing sneakers yay sneaker gang and i'm also wearing a what is it called a tube top which yeah you can get from factory the tracksuit is from meshki i ordered it online okay and then the sneakers they want to be they want to be converse but they're not okay <laughs> okay they look cute thank you we're down with them so this is my yeah. And if you want to like doll up the look, you can just throw on a pair of hoops. Yeah, and put yeah. some makeup and look cute, so that you don't like land looking like a dragon. Yeah, at definitely. least. <laughs> okay, so what's the next outfit? So the next outfit is my out pool wear. Uh huh. Pool side wear. So this is a costume I got from h and m okay i think if i'm traveling and i'm gonna be staying at a hotel and not at a more private space i like to wear something that's a little bit more modest yeah so i like how because there are other people there area. yeah but at the same time you're showing skin because it's a boot tube and i got this from h and m and then you can throw on a little cover up this is actually a dress from zara but i wear it as a cover up because mm -hmm. it wouldn't button past my hips because my hips are wow all right. <laughs> i got a small <laughs> So it's really really cute it has these it's like short sleeves and yeah. these cute little details and I feel like if you are like at the beach or something, you can walk up. Like let's say you're in ca yeah, you in Camps Bay, you can walk around and even go to a restaurant, exactly, which is really just, cool. It has these drawstrings that you can just um, tie, up. tie up. That's and perfect. And I love the gold buttons as well. Yeah. Okay. And you can wear it with these sandals. I got these from Charles and Keith. Oh, those those are really cute. They're really comfortable. So now moving on to oh, I forgot the shades. <laughs> For your poolside, yes. <laughs> Poolside What's shades. poolside without shades? You know. So now moving on to the night out outfit. It depends if you're going to the club uh -huh. or if you're going out for, for dinner. dinner. Girls. Mm -hmm. So the blazer can go with both. This is from Fashion, Fashion Never. And if you're going to the club, of course you need your little black. Yes! Oh my god, Michelle is it's so amazing. extra, guys. I, <laughs> I wore this to Sumo the one night and I felt like I was in Miami. <laughs> I can imagine. So this sexy latex. But how's the inside? Is How's the fabric inside? No, it's really like. Okay, line. okay. At least it's not like yeah, latex it's super inside. Comfortable inside. So you not you don't feel like you're dying, but you do sweat yeah. like you sweat a lot. Because it's probably tight, hey. And it's from Meshki as well, ordered it online. Okay. And then you can put on black court heels. Ooh, they're not just any regular sh regular <laughs> court heels. Come on. Yeah, they're red bottoms. And cool. then to jazz up the look, you can throw on a pair of earrings. These are from the Visa. Okay, those yeah. are really nice. And then if you're doing dinner with your girls, I would wear something a little bit more, you know. Classy. Like classy and this is a off shoulder long sleeved dress the stops below the knees and it's actually mid calf okay and this is from vida vada online okay vada online. 
a little black dress. Yay. I mean red. Red dress I with the black red. um blazer. With the and black I love heel. I feel like red and black are really nice yeah, for the evening really time. Well together as well. And you can just pop on a red lip and you're good to go. You are ship hopping. Thank you so much. Now we're gonna finish the rest of this segment downstairs. I think yep. they have a coffee shop, so let's head on now. Hi guys, so we are at the restaurant now. We are is this a coffee shop? Yep. Yeah, so we just ordered some coffee. When Kelly's having coffee, I'm having some juice. And we're just going to continue with the rest of the video. So let's jump straight into the questions. The first one is, what is your most embarrassing fashion moment? I think my most embarrassing moment is when those scarves were in fashion. Which the ones that you put on your head? Which ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You get from Do, the, those and Arab like, ones. Check, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those Arab scarves. I had like a green and red one and I was obsessed with it. Like I used to want to wear everything. Uh -huh. My mom used to even be like, scarf is 10 and I was obsessed. Yeah, that must be my worst fashion moment. <laughs> I also used to have one of those. I had a purple one and I had, I think like a grey, there was this black and white mm. one. And also the red and white one was very popular. But wow guys, this is well good. Yep. Clearly, is, what's your favorite thing to do when you're traveling? In terms of? So basically, like in your itinerary, what do you oh, have? Sightseeing. I love, really? I love sightseeing. I would have never thought of that. I really love sightseeing. As you're like, I as think I'm like top. Yeah, you think I'm like, I'm, sh I'm a shopper. Yes! I thought I mean, you'd be I like shopping, shopping or like lazing around by the pool. I think for me, I love shopping, but I always prioritize sightseeing because yeah. you're learning, some, you're learning the, about the culture, culture of the place. You're trying yeah. new food as yeah. well. So I think sightseeing is definitely important. Okay. Surprise. You get to experience the place. Yeah, which it's very true because it's not like you're gonna be there like all the time. Yeah, so yeah. you can shop whenever. And you'll find that as you just shop, like you can get anywhere else. Exactly. Yeah. Even where you're from. Exactly. It's just the experience. Oh no, I bought it in I bought it in Paris. Mm. So no, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, okay. Cool. What's your favorite fashion quote? I'd say my favorite fashion quote is the best accessory a girl can wear is her confidence. Yes. That's I agree with that. Favorite. I agree because you can have, you can level on so much makeup, you can wear the most fanciest clothes. But, but if you're not confident, then it won't look good on yeah. you. Yeah. And also, you'll be like showing because you won't like so carry yourself. Yeah, like you won't be carry yourself. And which is, is that? where do you get your fashion inspiration? Is it from Instagram? Is it from the blogs? Is it from like window shopping? From your friends? Like, where do you get it from? I think my, I draw my inspiration from Instagram mainly, social media, because mm -hmm. I sit on social media way more than I do reading blogs yeah. or yeah. looking at magazines. Yeah. So even on Explore, like seeing what different people would like okay. fashion week, for example, seeing what celebrities wear on red carpets, yeah. like what normal people wear. Because I feel so like normal people are actually mm. the most like creative when it comes to their fashion especially if you follow those um because there are a lot of bloggers on instagram and yeah. then you can see like their streetwear and there's a lot like of wearing. amazing like underrated fashion bloggers yeah. in europe that don't well. have a lot of followers yeah, but like with wow very little followers but they know how to put together yeah. outfits. so what is your favorite clothing store in south africa it, it can be like an international <laughs> it can be an international <laughs> brand but it has to be like available in south africa Zara! Yeah! <laughs> Cult favorite. I feel like Zara, Zara. is. Wow, Honestly. guys. Sissy Seaway. Honestly. Clearly. I suspect. Sissy Seaway. They sprinkle something in their clothes. Literally. <laughs> and then we're all like following them as loyal yeah. servants. I love Zara. I'm a Zara girl. Like 80% of my wardrobe is from Zara. From Zara. No. And you know, like if you buy something, it will last, but it's mm. not that expensive. It's still trendy. And also, I love how they accommodate people with like my body type. Because I find yeah. that, for example, if I'm buying suit pants from like a witchery, I'll probably need to get them tailored. Tailored. If they fit my hips, they won't fit my waist. Your waist Whereas yeah. at Zara, you can get nice high-waisted suit pants yeah. that sit your waist yeah. and also fit your hips. And I think also like the way they, I think the way they make it, because even from Topshop, like with, when you look at the label they will tell you the waist is this much yeah. the thigh the length is this, length this, is this much, much. Yeah. because it's not just like all standard like if you're size 32 not everybody is a size exactly. 32 the same way exactly. and shape so yeah big up to you Zara you gosh us you got shout it out. shout, shout out we are we are here <laughs> what's your favorite holiday destination in South Africa Cape Town <laughs> really I think so yeah I feel like Cape Town is really. I mean, it's overrated. Yeah. But especially because I grew up in Cape Town, I ordered some orange juice. I just just got check guys. I ordered one though. 
Are you also having juice? juice? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I was, I was saying, so I'm from Cape Town, I grew up in Cape Town, so the hoo ha is like not that much. That's how I feel about Durban. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. for me, Durban is like really nice. Yeah, no, though, you're with her. But throughout the year, like, I feel like, oh no, and my husband is from Bridget's Bay, and it's even hotter there. Really? It's humid, it's it's a mess. When I got there, I had to, like, literally take off my wig. Like, and it was not like a wig, mm. it was like a sew in. So, so I had to, like, unravel that whole thing and put it down and do, like, a con because, wow, then the gorgeous face. It was a lot. So yeah, so you saying Cape Town is your favorite destination? Yeah. Okay. I think because there's a lot to do and it's beautiful. Like, yeah, I think a lot, lot of beautiful places. Okay and it's very, you can take a lot of nice pictures. Yeah. Which is really cool. It's all for the gram. You can take nice pictures. Then and there's a beach. Exactly. And there's water activity. And there's like really nice restaurants. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, okay, I get you, I get you. Is which movie would like, do you love? Eat, pray, love, especially for like travel and stuff. So, is, are you an eat, pray, love type of girl, or are you a girls' trip type of girl? I've never watched Eat, Pray, Love. Really? For me, son. Class once. Class <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh that? my God! What is it about? So it's basically about this woman, Julia Roberts. Mm -hmm. She like we are Kowishu babes, and then she goes to Bali to go find herself. She travels like, like she's traveling alone, and she's basically like just exploring and finding herself spiritually and all of those like kumbaya type of things. She yeah, like it's really really nice and very scenic, and she she's just like on a self discovery type mm. of journey. Type of, that's the vibe. And then go all oh, girls trip. So which one are you? I think I'm a bit of both. Nah. Like I appreciate my ghetto, my girls with yeah. lit things and mimnandi yeah. and go crazy. But um, I really, really love my alone time, time, my downtime, where I'm sort of like spending time with myself yeah. and have time to think. And I even find that even if I'm going on a trip with people, there's yeah. gonna be a moment where I'm gonna wanna be alone by yourself so and just maybe I went to activity in YouTube, but no, it's fine. You guys can go and you can meet me and yeah. I wanna go and do my own thing. So I think I'm technically a bit, a of, bit of both. both. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And you? Um, I think I I don't see myself traveling by myself, so I don't know. I think locally, like in my own area, or like something that is not too far, mm -hmm. I definitely do by myself. But like I wouldn't go abroad by myself. Like I'm I'm, I'm too scared. Really? I don't trust. Locked up abroad, or like now you've been kidnapped, and all those True. like True. crazy things. And the language barrier, also yeah. Tricky. And you have no one to like, I, you know. Mm. I spend way too much time by myself, so when I get out of the house, wanna I want to be with other people. Yeah, okay, cool. This one is very nice. Who does it for you on Instagram in terms of the fashion sense? They are like how they lay out their feet, just like the whole works, like the whole shebang. Who is the one person that you like are obsessed with on Instagram? Besides yourself, have to be South African. No, they don't. Have oh, to be my South feet African. are so wack. I'm like <laughs> the wackest blogger in the world. Like, I need, I need lessons. On yeah, I don't know how people do it, guys. I don't know how people. It's do a skill. It. And to be going ashamed, Leo. Who's my favorite person on Instagram? Oh my gosh, I stalk so many people. Now. Um, I'm like the queen of. Give us the details. So we can also stalk. Who is your favorite? Of their feet and everything. Yeah. You the filters that they use. Really everything. Who is it? I think I love. Um, can I pick more than one person? Yeah, of course. Do you have to be South African? Well, be two South African. Okay, one South African and one international. I don't even know the international. Okay, so Vanessa Matena's feed is really nice. Yes, I love her. I feet. love her. And, and I love the fact that she does really images on a lot of filters. Yeah, like her content yeah. is very um, clean and it's very stunning. Yeah. And also her name is her name, Nasi. Who's that? Uh, she's my cousin. Ooh, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. It's very clean also. Very clean, not a lot of filters. Yeah. Oh, that's really, really nice. And she actually takes a lot of her pictures with her phone. Really? Well, I mean, she got a camera, but you know, actually, your iPhone can can exhaust it. There are girls yeah. who literally carry like, and they still do. They, it they, well. ro they roll around with the crew like everywhere they go. Oh no! With lighting and everything. No. <laughs> it never be me. It's a struggle, guys. It never be me. For the gram. So I think those are my two days. Okay, so you don't have an international one. 
I do, but the thing is, even got a name. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll put it down below. Ooh, Will Kate Lady. Love her feet. What's her name? Will Kate Lady. Okay. Um, stunning. She's from SA, but she like lives in the UK. Well, oh, she travels really nice. in between a lot. Okay, cool. Her feet is also really nice. I feel like the the whole um, like having a really nice feet, like a clean one. It's very, very like visually appealing. Yeah. Okay. So shout out to you girls who know how to do those Instagram things. Yeah. We see you. We see you, sis. Oh, this is actually the last question. Okay. So, what's the one item of clothing you think of when you think of your childhood? <laughs> I'm ready to hear some random shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's not really clothing. It's yeah. actually a backpack. Okay. I was obsessed with Teletubbies growing up oh my and God. I still love them like my kids need I'm gonna actually stack up on Teletubby DVDs mm -hmm. so that my kids can watch them I'm obsessed with I love them Did you, did you, know, did you know that um, Tinky Winky is he passed, gay? And he passed away Is it Tinky Winky who passed away? The purple one? Yes! He passed away The oh, guy, well the guy who wears this Oh I thought they killed him No 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 He passed away like, <laughs> so Really? So but I feel like, like, like they really said much so I think I feel like they can replace it yeah, they can <laughs> but I mean you say Are they still on? <laughs> I actually saw them on TV, I think it was sometime last year, but I never really see them anymore. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not a TV person, I've been yeah. watching. Yeah. So you're obsessed with your Teletubby backpack? So I had backpack. like a Teletubby backpack, it was actually Lala. So it had Lala's face and then the body was the backpack that you put the stuff in. Oh, that's so and nice. And I just want to carry it every time. You know when you're a child and you're obsessed with something? Yeah, like, you never want to take it off. Yeah. So, okay, cool. That's really cute. Yeah. I wish if you had that backpack, I'm sure it would still be like it would still be around. cute. It would still be cute. Anyway, alrighty guys, I think that is it. Thank you so much, Thank Lisa. You me. It was such a pleasure. She's the sweetest, guys. Thank you. She's so sweet. But yeah, thank you guys so much. This is the end of the series. <laughs> and Michelle and I have been trying to organize this video for the longest time but like finally the things finally happened so I hope you guys enjoyed it I love you guys so much do not forget to subscribe and like and share this video also I'll leave the link to Michelle's channel just in case you don't know her I don't know about but anyway thank you guys so much bye